Hey, what's up, everyone? Hope everyone's having a good one. This is Rui from ClickyTV.com back again with another video. This time on the PS4, playing an exclusive PS4 game, uh, um, The La uh, Last of Us 2. And um, I'm on my Fire Stick remote play with a brand new app I came across. Uh, it is a third party app. It's not the official PS4 or PS5 now remote play app. So uh, since there was issues with the previous remote play app ever since the uh, firmware update for the PlayStation came out recently, it messed everything up. So here's a solution that I came across and um, let me take you through the steps how to set it up how to get the best performance and with that let's get into the video all right so a couple of things that I noticed so far uh, that you won't be able to do uh, and this could be a limitation of the fire stick not the actual app that's running on the fire stick and it's the so how can I explain this so uh, you know how I have my light on right now if for those of you who have ever played the, the last of us one or the last of us two when you have the light on and then the the battery runs out you need to shake the controller unfortunately that sensor uh, it doesn't work so you, you're unable to recharge your light. That's one of the other one of the things. The other thing is playing the guitar. So when you're playing the guitar, you need to swipe on the controls. So see how I press the button here. If you press the button, it works fine. But swiping or the touching the button does not. So those two things I've noticed don't work. Another thing is the PlayStation button. So if you if you press the PlayStation button, Fire TV Home menu. Right, so so if you want to switch games, what you do is uh, so I actually came. I actually what I did was I, I remapped the buttons. Let me go down. I remapped the buttons so that you can press two buttons to simulate the PlayStation button. What I did was I mapped the share and options button to be my PlayStation button. Watch this. So if I if I uh, and I press share and option at the same time. It goes to my main menu. Uh, I'm actually connected, so Bluetooth from my PS4 controller to the Fire Stick, and I'm running this through the app um, in 1080p. Apparently, the app says that it's only supported for PS PlayStation Pro. However, it does work on my PlayStation and it actually works really really well i'm very surprised like i said the only issues i have is with certain controls so i won't be able to play the full game in remote play mode unfortunately because of those things right because uh, certain scenes you can't skip when you're playing the guitar uh, like in the, the beginning of the game so it kind of messes you up you have to actually play it on the playstation so trying to think if there's anything else that we can go through so if I wanted to load another game I could everything so like going from play, the the last of us 2 to the last of us 1 I can actually switch here the um, it's running perfectly uh, the only thing is you do need to have your PlayStation connected through the LAN so it needs to be connected through your uh, uh, um, ethernet plugged in directly into your router so if your playstation and your uh, fire stick are both on wi-fi you're not going to get good results so uh, i i actually had it set up that way to begin with and then uh, i had to change the settings a little bit and uh, as well as the the playstation needs to be connected through your wired internet right uh, the Fire Stick is okay if it's on 5G. It's currently on 5G right now. Uh, and uh, I, if you have the Ethernet adapter like I do for the Fire Stick, I would recommend using that. So, all right. So let me let me take you through the steps, how to set it up, and how to get the best 
uh, performance and least amount of latency, which it, I mean, I'm, I'm playing in 1080p right now. Uh, you're not going to get the same color and, and, and quality as playing the game directly on the PlayStation. But let me tell you, I mean, you, you can see the, the quality of the, the picture and, and how I'm moving around right now. And, and there's literally no lag. It's it, this app works great. All right. So let's get into uh, how to set this up. Let's get out of here. So PS Play. And uh, to download the app, very simple. You either press and hold the microphone button, say PS Play into your remote, or go here, search, type in PS Play. L Y. There it is. Because I've purchased it, it won't tell me how much. Now, I did notice someone left a really bad review for this app, and it sounded like this individual had no idea what remote play even means, right? They were under the impression that by downloading this app, you get to you get to have like a PlayStation 4 on your Fire Stick or Fire TV. No, you need the actual PlayStation. So, and the actual developer of the app states, if you have any issues, contact them before you give them a, a, a review so don't guys if you don't like the app contact the developer before you post really bad reviews if anybody ever has an issue you can you can always uh, message me and you can and there's also uh, um, support the the developer has his email on here I'll show you you can email him directly and add, uh, ask any questions you have okay but uh, let me show you how it does work and how to get the best performance. So first we need to state that we understand that it's not an emulator or game. <laughs> there it is. It's funny, th this wasn't here before. Uh, I actually got a, an update recently for this app <laughs> and I'm guessing he, he placed this because of that bad review he got. And we have to agree to the terms. Okay, let's get started. All right. I'll let you go through this and read it yourself. All right, so it's very straightforward. Register a PS4. All right, and, and this is actually cool. So it actually asks you what firmware version you're running. So it's it's pretty customizable so if you if you are the type that's not updating your firmware for any reason and I know a few um, you can always go back right so this is pretty cool so I'm actually on the latest firmware so I'm gonna leave it here there are advanced settings here let's check those out register you can register this manually okay registration number so what we need we need to go to the ps4 and pick up the eight digit code so we can register our playstation so let's do that okay so over at the playstation if you've never set up remote play before let me show you so we go into settings here, navigate down to remote play connection settings, enable remote play. Uh, if you have a PlayStation Vita, you can turn that on and then just click add device. But before we do it, let me just show you, we want to make sure. So even if sometimes, even if you're um, connected through the wired connection and your internet, uh, LAN that is so sometimes it'll still be connected to Wi-Fi so you want to make sure that you come in here and you select use a LAN cable 
we're gonna go easy and let it go through the test so it'll go through make sure it does this so the moment you unplug your the um, the network cable from your PlayStation, it will automatically revert back to the Wi-Fi, right? So you need to come back in here and connect it again once you con connected it. So let's go in and get our code again. Remote play, add device, grab that code. And then we're going to go back to the fire stick and add this code. All right. Okay, so if you're using the fire remote, you can still use the, the PS4 remote, but I'm guessing you need the fire stick remote because of the way it's outlined here. So let me punch in the code. It seems like we only have six digits there. I don't know why it looks like that, but if you keep going, it'll work. sign into your PlayStation account. Uh, another thing this app does is allows you to use more than one account. You can actually add multiple accounts into the app and select the account you want to use. So it's uh, it's got some pretty cool options here. So let me log in. So now you also have the option to play over the internet with this thing. So it's asking if you'd like to set it up so that your router, oh, so basically the app can open ports on your router so you can play remotely over the internet. Uh, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to open any ports on my router. So now, so let's go through the settings here. Okay, so we can get the best settings so like I was playing earlier it was on 1080p uh, frames per second I recommend putting it down to 30 frames per second okay uh, the bit rate set it to standard auto doesn't do a good job best is too high I would set it to standard real-time decoding it says it decreases the uh, latency so Decreased latency is good for us. Uh, video stream format, keep the aspect ratio. Uh, let's have a look here. So yeah, we want to keep the aspect ratio. What aspect ratio is, is the, the size and shape of the video you're seeing. So currently, if you're watching this on YouTube, it's 16 by nine. So 1080p, 16 by 9 aspect ratio so if we change that we don't want it. it's gonna look stretch so if you stretch it you know and zoom it it's gonna look like crap you want to keep the aspect ratio okay let's go back uh, don't drop frames you could tell it to not drop frames uh, it could increase your latency though right so keep that into mind compatibility mode so if your video freezes regularly so you can turn this on uh, I noticed while playing earlier it did start freezing um, so if you if you notice that your video freezes it 
try turning that on. A software decoder. Uh, I, I wouldn't do this. It's not even the even the developer says it's not recommended. So stop streaming with a double click. I recommend turning this on. So you double click the back button on the uh, Fire Stick remote. Uh, show microphone button. I'm not sure what this is for, um, but I guess I'm guessing for um, if you're using them, um, if you're playing online and you have a, a mic connected or, or a headset, um, I'm guessing that's what it's for uh, because I don't play online, especially through remote play. Uh, I'm going to turn that off because it's annoying to see the microphone uh, logo on the bottom of the screen. Um, but again, if, if you play online games then and you have a headset, yeah, you should turn this on, I guess. That's it. That's the best. That's how I get the best uh, quality here. Let's go through some of the uh, settings and, and controls. and So uh, profiles, this, this is where your profile, so every profile you add will show up in here. The, the top are the um your playstation network profiles over here at the bottom are the the game mapping profile so you can create as many uh, game maps you want for gamepad so if you have a uh you know an xbox controller you can use it here and remap all the keys so that it works with the playstation remote play um another thing so settings we've already gone through you can register multiple playstations here and you can configure over the internet access over the internet um you can check out uh, any, uh stuff about the um about the software here and source code and all that and uh, if you go down to help and navigate all the way down to report or report a problem there's the email for the developer reach out to the developer if you have any problems okay let me take you through how to perform a, a button mapping so if, if you have a, a third party controller or uh, let's say for for um, the fact that you know if I press the home or the PlayStation button on my PS4 controller right now it's gonna take me home and it even we even have that here the home button so you see even says here to use a two button combination so let me show you how to do that so let's give it a, a, a name so um, DS4 which is the actual name of the controller and next okay we're good. all right so just hit the um, very intuitive so hit the keys so here we go so we select use two button combination and i'm gonna hit share and option at the same time done okay we're gonna keep hitting these keys perfect let's launch the last of us Let's just see how it looks. So yeah, the the quality is pretty pretty good. 1080p, even though it says PlayStation Pro only, it it, it works in 1080p mode. Um, another thing I've noticed that the um, the remote play doesn't work is the I hope you can hear my voice is the the vibration so the 
the DS4 vibrate. Uh, it doesn't vibrate at all. Uh, so so you can't shake it. It won't vibrate, and the the pad in the middle, the touch pad, doesn't work. So but if you're playing any other games that don't require any of that, this is pretty pretty good. There's no lag at all. I'm playing in with the settings that I've showed you and there's literally no lag it's it's perfect i'm maybe i would say maybe 12 milliseconds 12 can't find anyone anyways good all right and with that, I think this is a great alternative for those of you who are looking for the PS4 remote play, you know, solution, I guess. So if you like this video, give me a like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Ciao for now.